Hey guys, Mama Girls here and welcome back to another video. Today I am serving you once more everyday glam makeup. So very light coverage, just a little bit of eyeliner, blush and that's it basically. I am actually off in a moment <laughs> to have a little brunch with my girls. I know, very homosexual of me. Very gay. <gasps> but I mean, hi, you're on my channel. What did you expect? For long honestly here, we've tried a lot of expensive products on this channel. I mean, the Sisley Double Tonseur, I recently realized that I pronounced it wrong the whole time. It's tonseur. This one was 200 US dollars. Like, that was a very pricey product. Today's product is not as pricey, but, and I normally don't say that, I think today we're trying out the most ridiculous priced luxury product ever, and I am talking about the La Mer, the Lip Volumizing Lip Gloss slash Balm. This one retails for 85 US dollars. <laughs> 75 euros if you're in Austria. I ordered it in. I did buy it in sale though. 49.95 So that would be around 53 US dollars, which I saved a lot of money. I saved 30% today We're basically gonna do a deep dive into the ingredient set Then we're gonna wear it and at the end of the day We're gonna do a final check-in telling you if I think it's worth uh, 85 US dollars or not So you guys if you're interested in this video, then you can stay tuned You can give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we're heading for the millions at least in my head but if you subscribe, we are heading for Never Be Left 2. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos. Normally every Monday and Friday, two videos a week, always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My left eye, that one here, is starting to tear up, and I hate that because then my eyeliner is ruined. Okay, mama, it's gonna be first impressions and also a wear test. So, you guys, without further ado, Let's just jump right into this video. Now, La Mer is uh, a very expensive brand. I do love their foundation. This one retails for around 130 US dollars. One of my favorite products I've ever tried on this channel, I'm not gonna lie. And let's see if the lip volumizing lip gloss is uh, also worth the high price point. You get seven milliliters, which is 0.24 fluid ounces. That's quite standard size for gloss. I recently bought one by Fenty that actually has nine milliliters and was not as expensive. Just saying. They don't tell you a lot about this product. Basically, the lip volumizer coats your lips and actually has a very high wear comfort, comfort of wearing. I'm translating this once more from German to English, so pardon me. Basically, it's very comfortable to wear. It is infused with the Miracle Broth, which I recently made my research about the Miracle Broth. That's like the La Mer ingredient. And this one is it's like seaweed extract, which is totally fine. Seaweed extract can be very fancy, but they allegedly play music to their seaweed. Just saying. Very fancy, but I guess you pay for the music cost and, and the licensing cost of the music, so that might explain the high price up. I don't know. She's got a point. Okay, so it's a lip plumping gloss and it actually reduces fine lines. When it comes to La Mer, they always have the longest ingredient set, so I'm just gonna go into my corner, throw them up here, and we're just immediately gonna start roasting because the main ingredient is petrolatum, which is mineral oil. One of the cheapest ingredients out there. Your favorite drugstore moisturizer probably is a mineral oil base, something like that. Mineral oil is not a bad ingredient per se. It, it's not problematic, it's just very cheap. Very, very cheap. I do get why they want to use it. Most lip glosses are formulated with a form of, you know, mineral oil because it lays like a layer on the. I just read the ingredients for you, pardon me. There's also straight up microcrystalline wax in there, Serra Microcrystallina, which basically is mineral oil once more. Okay, so there's a lot of mineral oil in there. Amazing. La Mer tends to do that, and that's quite a legit critique point in my personal opinion. I mean, their face creams cost hundreds of dollars and they're formulated with a lot of mineral oil like it, it just doesn't make sense to me you know still gonna give it a fair chance but seeing that knowing that and also knowing the pricing huge turn off huge turn off but fine microcrystalline wax that's where I actually stopped basically lays like a film on your actual skin and um, you know does smooth out, it does blur. You do have the seaweed extract, the Miracle Broth. It's not under the top five ingredients, so that's a little disappointing in my personal opinion. You have shea butter, which is very hydrating, truth be told here. You have sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid. That's 
fine. You have cucumber fruit extract, you have sesame seed oil, you have eucalyptus leaf oil. These are fancy extracts, sunflower oil, olive fruit oil, lime peel extract, okay, this will be tingly. I see that coming. Um, avocado oil, castor seed oil, coconut oil, I don't like, but you know, there's mumura seed butter. You have fancy extracts, but I want them to be on the top. I want them to be up, up front, because that's when it makes sense to put them in there. Second page of ingredients. You have some more fancy extracts. You have glycerin, you have more fatty alcohols. It tries to be something very special, while it is formulated quite cheaply. And when it comes to La Mer, you do not want that, okay? So honestly, the ingredients, they don't wow me. Yeah. They really don't. Like, they're not bad, but like for a gloss for 85 bucks, it's ridiculous. Let's put her out of her packaging. Is that a spatula? I don't think so. Is this... It's like this abstract piece of art, I guess. First impressions here, okay? I'm gonna call myself out if I'm wrong. Like, this is... To, to hold it better, it lays quite beautifully in the hand. It's a pinky, sheer kind of gloss. I am 100% sure this will be translucent and just has the slightest bit of pinky iridescence. Oh yeah, it's very minty, as I predicted. Let's see how this works out. It says translucent gloss, not overly reflective. If you're wondering, I used a little bit of uh, Pillow Talk lip liner just to give my lips a little bit of definition. The Pillow Talk lip liner pretty much is my actual lip color, which is fabulous. It's starting to tingle a little bit. It looks pretty. Like, it really looks pretty, okay? There's there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, my eyes watering even more. I hate it, oh my god. I'm gonna get ready for my lunch. Brunch. We're gonna do some check-ins. I will say... Just first impressions, it's a regular gloss. It really is. I'm just looking in the camera monitor. Looks like a standard gloss, honestly. I could not tell that this one would be La Mer. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm currently at the toilet, if you can tell, horrible lighting, but we had the most amazing brunch, it was so much fun, my eye is uh, literally running, can you see, it's it ruined my eyeliner, oh my god, god bless it, why did I even make it today, um, the gloss obviously went off, I mean, hi, it's, it's lip gloss, it won't last throughout the brunch, um, I'm gonna reapply it, my lips don't feel, you know, dry or, or crunched, not sticky whatsoever, like a real good gloss consistency, honestly. Mm, just not quite sure about the pricing, I'm not gonna lie here, but I'm um, gonna reapply and uh, I'll be there with a next check-in. We're now gonna go shopping a little bit, make up, I can't wait for that, so see you in a second. <laughs> It was so much fun with my girls, honestly, I just needed that to relax. I am not the most social person, like, I am not someone who calls you up and, like, needs to see you every single day. Like, once every two weeks, maybe even once a month, honestly. That's more like my speed. But sometimes you just need it, you just need to talk, and we had such a fun time. We were shopping for a fragrance for one of my girls, and she was looking for a Tom Ford fragrance, something with cherry. 
and we found it, but she really didn't like it, and I honestly have to agree with her. It was not that good, I don't know. Like, people really love Tom Ford fragrances. There was one that I liked a lot, it was uh, Soleil Blanc, I feel. Um, that one I did like, but it was also not breathtaking. I don't know, Tom Ford stands. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite Tom Ford fragrance? We need to check them out. But I didn't find a single that I, like, really enjoyed. But, you know, maybe that was just my mistake, you know? My uh, eye makeup on that side literally ruined. I don't know why my eye re randomly decided to water. Just the way it is, unfortunately. But I'm back. I am feeling myself. And I feel, you know what, it is time to apply. Here she is. The world's most expensive lip gloss. One last time. I really like the gloss. I really do. Like, I'm gonna have to say it. It's a real good gloss. It really is. Um, I have my doubts. I really had. It's a really good gloss formula. Is it worth 85 bucks? Most definitely not. So I would not recommend it. But like, it's it's definitely one of these luxury items where you're like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous, Lady Gaga. And yes, it is. It's also fun. Personally, I think it's a cute moment. I'm happy that I tried it for my YouTube channel. Would I recommend it to any of you guys if you're not insanely rich then no i mean also we have to say that like honestly luxury products don't necessarily have to be something for the ultra rich it's also a moment you know it's a fancy moment so if you're someone you're like you know what i need that i need that in my life i deserve that which you obviously do don't misunderstand me um, then go for it, of course. It's a good gloss, it really is, like, it's a good gloss, it feels beautiful. It is plumping, it's a little minty, but really not unpleasantly, like, it doesn't burn, it, it, it's really a tingle and that's it. It's just not something that you should see as necessary, because it really is not. You guys, let me know your favorite Tom Ford fragrance, <laughs> I really would love that. And also, if you would ever buy a lip gloss for 85 US dollars or 75 euros. Without further ado, if you enjoyed the video, you could give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell, and we're gonna see us very soon with a brand new video. Yeah, the packaging really isn't it, though. Like, I, I just gonna have to say that the packaging doesn't give me any vibe.